Ruth here, and this is from Crafters Companion. I'm even using their scissors for this. Anyway, so, move this out of the way because it has my address on it. Aha! Okay. I am excited. This stuff can go in the recycling box. And I missed. That was one. Okay. <laughs> um, so we've got quite a few things in here. Um, I guess we'll do this one first. Here we have lightweight pearl paper from the Snow Queen collection. There's uh, 24 pieces of 5x5 five five pearl paper in there. And this was $2.99. I think it was... Because I believe this was on sale. I believe, yes. It's not pretty. I can't remember if I have any white pearl cardstock of any kind. So I wanted to get this and it's easily uh, cut in like a manageable size. I can easily put somewhere in my little bag so far. And keeping with the Snow Queen collection, it was a very, very pretty iridescent crushed ice glitter tub or pot or whatever. 20 gram pot. Um, and this one was five pounds. I believe. It must be very confusing when they don't actually put the uh, some of the uh, sale prices or whatever on on the list packing this thing. Okay, so next up we have the Gemini multi a multi uh, media die statement jigsaw. So basically, it's a speech bubble and um, creates twelve pieces. Currently, I think I'm just really collecting them right now. <laughs> I haven't actually done anything with them yet. I still need to get, I guess, the uh, mount board to actually make proper puzzle pieces that I've taken off to actually do. I wanted to make a puzzle on its own, not just to stick to a card. Um, that one was on sale for five pounds. No one needs, I think, around. 12-ish pounds, I think, normally. But anyway, it is a multimedia one, so it will cut corkboard, mount board, craft metal, faux leather, fabric, and much more. Yeah. So this goes along with my... Was it three other ones or something? I don't know. Um, next up, we have... There, there is one, two, three, four of these. So I guess the other ones are. Oh, there it is. Okay, here are the four stamps. And since I already showed you that one, I'll show you that one first. Here are the gift tag ones that I wanted to get. For some reason I thought I bought them ages ago, but I actually never did. So, first up we have a special gift, which I put it on, it's on the first on my list here. That was on sale for 89 pence. So it gives a special gift, you never knew you wanted. So it's just that stamp there. Then the next one... It is called Best Gift Ever. So this is the best gift ever. I should know. I bought it. I, I couldn't resist that one, you know. That one was not on sale for its original price of $2.99. Then the next one on the list is uh, Maybe Awesome, which was on sale for 89 pence. 
This is one of the contents of this package may be awesome. And lastly for the stamps is uh, this is for you in brackets, but I wish it was mine. <laughs> but that was a pretty amusing one. And that one is $2.99 for the original price. And last but not least, we have a it doesn't actually say it on here. Let's see if I can just I wasn't sure about this. And the last one here, I guess they leave it as a code because they don't always keep the kits available. Or kits, bundles, whatever. So this is actually a bundle of 60 cards, 300 GSM card. I mean, it's still the same multi purpose card, white card, whatever. But it's, you know, the same cardstock, it's just shortened to card. No. Which I find still amusing. Start off long, then shorter. So, for some reason, when I see this, it came with a dog ear a bit for some odd reason. I'll just won't use that corner, I guess. Or something. So that's annoying. Card shouldn't come bent at all, really. I'll have to use flatten it or something. So, the thing came like that. I think the rest are fine. Seems straight. At least this one. So, this was. The pack. Not one, not two, but three. So I do my math right. Three sixes are eighteen at a zero. So one hundred and eighty cheats. Hey. Oh. This one has a dog ear as well. Yeah. Not really good. Hopefully that's just one sheet and not two. Slightly that came. At least, well, at least I think, I hope it's just one sheet. Anyway, yeah. I thought it was a pretty good price for £25.98, when well, obviously it would be so much more. For a kick 60, uh, 60 card pack, that's a th bundle of three. So, um, let's see, I do want to get rid of the box. Where did I put the paper at all? Because my, my paper stash up there, in between my two bookshelves, kind of full. <laughs> I don't want really to get, like, focus on getting, you know, cards off or anything, because I do have quite some leftover from bits and pieces, and I do get, you know, the cheaper kind of one. That you know, I have in my stash. I want to use it first. I don't have any base, thick base card kind of thickness, so I wanted to get these for my card blades. And coincidentally, right? I actually, this is was a, a freebie from the, my first uh, showstopper I bought. One of my, I think my second Crafters Companion video order. Or was the first? I can't remember. But um, I actually hadn't used very much of this before. I only had used one sheet, technically. I'm very, very smart. But I actually, if you see, I made some card bases. I didn't know where to put them right now, so I just shoved them in this. But I made like a concertina card, 
Gateful card, trifold card, just a normal thingy. And I think I did a 6x6 one. Anyway, I was just watching Crafters TV or some crafty video on YouTube while I was folding it with the awesome, the very awesome, I'm holding it upside down, Ultimate Pro that I got recently. Ish recently. I mean, I've only started using it recently. <laughs> but it stays right now on the floor next to me. I currently need to clean under my desk because I have no space. I need to move my Pokemon trading card albums into the storage room so I can put my crafty stuff under my desk better. <laughs> anyway, yes, so I've got craft card blanks and black card blanks. Uh, this one was just 220 GSM I, I got from Amazon because the black card stock was out of stock at Crafts Companion. But then it I went back in stock, but that was way after I bought this black one. So, I did a few card blanks of each of those cards, so now, while I'm watching another crafty video later, I will be making more card blanks of these. I might as well. And I'll just be in front of my laptop, watching the live. There I guess. Um, anyway, yes. That's my evening. Um, there isn't anything else to say. There's nothing else to do. I do have to put away those things, though. Because I finally put away some of my... Um... What's it called? My, uh, stamps and stuff. Finally. <laughs> I don't really have a very perfect system right now. I currently am using the, the Funko Pop protector case. Double case right now. That's right next to me. Um, but yeah, so I'm using currently. I don't have any proper, you know, stamp, you know, things, storage things. So I'm currently using these old CD cases, which are too short for most of them. But it's Useful on a pinch, you know. Apparently for this one, I opened it recently so I can put it away. I got both of the, uh, the baby one and the, I think it's the Croats one in here. I bought this from Crafter's Companion as well, of course. One problem with it being small is that I might actually not, you know, put it back and I like, catch things. But yes, there's so many stamps I need to use. I've just been busy organizing them first before using them, which I guess isn't quite a good thing. But like, I really do love this one from Crackers Companions, the Connie Fong stamp. It's so cute, isn't it? Anyway, I'm just really going off course here. Like, just way off course. I think it's not pretty. This came in the, the magazine. Even though it's part of the Bohemian collection, this was part of the magazine freebie thing. I don't know if you really call it a freebie. But anyway. Let's put that back there. And... Yeah, I've got quite a few stamps I need to use. Well, most of them I need to use, actually. But, yes, that is... That's anything. So, that's, that's, you know, all that stuff. And stuff you can't see down there. I thought this was a nice, a nice buy. So, I'm really curious of what it feels like. So, let's, um... Open it up. I mean, I think I need to buy another pair of Crafters Companion snips. Because currently, I'm using these other ones over here. But, uh, I have designated my Crafters Companion snips 
to my little song bag. Let's see. Oh, it is lightweight. Oh, listen to this. I don't know why it's just so amusing. <laughs> okay, I'm just getting distracted now. But look at that pearl. Look at that pearl. It's so beautiful. I'm going out of focus because I can't get my focus behind. But isn't that so pretty? Looks so much more shiny in person. But it's so beautiful. I mean, I guess you can, like, you know, die cut, like, snowflake type things. That's so generic. I mean, it's called the Snow Queen Collection. But, um, I guess I could use, like, it's like a shadow thing. Or, like, use... I don't know. Anyway, yes, it's, it's pretty thin. Well, don't say lightweight. 24 sheets of lightweight paper with a stunning and subtle white pearl sheen. Lightweight pearl paper works with the metal die set Snowflake Queen, which I don't have any other Snow Queen branded uh, series. I mean, um, of anything apart from the, the glitter because it looks so pretty, you know. Like. And it's so pretty. I couldn't resist. Oh, the tape on. I'll open it later. <laughs> but if you're wondering, yeah, the code for that one is this. I was tempted to get more of these ones, but I decided to just leave it at this for now. Because I haven't actually made anything yet. Um, yes. Oh, it's here. 100 GSM. It's like right in front of me. Um, it totally went over the end. Um, so, I'll just place that right there. There you go. You can sort of see it better in there. It's a very thick, sturdy box. Well, probably because I had the card stuff in. It's a very good box. Maybe I might actually keep the box. Oh, who knows? I got lots of boxes in the storage room. <laughs> anyway, just the last thing I just wanted to show. Because I made this envelope with the Ultimate Pro. This uh, pattern paper I got from the. 2022 Advent Calendar for Crafters Green, yeah. So I thought that was pretty neat. They didn't, my, my card side didn't, isn't actually properly, proper card size from, from the booklet list. So I just put the card, like, up against on the card stock and just moved it a bit until I got the score line lined up and did a drill four sides and did a double score on this one on this side because it is going to get a bit slightly thicker to close because I do have foam pads in there and a gym. This one, you can see this card if you looked at the day 18 I think of my Crafters Companion opening video for 2023. I actually made a card. Mm -hmm. And, um, I made this with the Bella Luna pattern paper, which is this one, as well as, well, I put a, uh, I don't even know what it is called. I mean, is it supposed to be chipboard? Or just really thick cardboard? Because I have no idea. It's the, uh, cardboard backing thing that comes in those do not bend envelopes, you know. So I put it on the bottom here, also so like the base would be sturdy, but also so it would have weight. So when I lifted it up, it would stay down or move down. 
And also I uh, cut in two triangles on either side. So if that was before I added this bit. So I can just put my thumb and finger here on either side and I can easily pull it up. Obviously the uh, the triangles are just a, a side idea. When I was thinking about it. It's done. And also it's easier because I already had it stuck together and uh, don't ask me to, to cut a semicircle on something that's already stuck together like this. But anyway, this is the inside. I chose it them both to have the inside to have this bit and it, the, uh, the underside of this one is similar to this one. So I decided to put the thing on that to keep it sturdy and whatnot. But also I chose this this one because it had these purple flowers. I'm guessing it's foxglove. So I don't think it's hyacinth. I think it's foxglove anyway. I mean, it could be honest, I have no idea. But uh, I made this for my mom's birthday present for March. This is going to be going up in April. So I can show you now, because by the time this is actually, this video is actually public, I won't have it anymore. <laughs> um, so I was like, I was actually thinking maybe I should do, because I do have some corner things, you know. So I could make, do like little corner things here and here to make it, you know, not just a plain thing, you know. I mean, I could, I mean, I don't know if it's too much or not. I do have, if I don't have it, uh, I do have corner stickers so I can put like little elegance to it. I think in silver and gold, I can't, I can't remember. But I do have some corner ones. I was thinking maybe I should put some more under these two corners, because obviously I don't want to cover it. The, uh, the purple flowers there. And so I won't be doing it there, I'll just be doing the opposite here. I think that might be a good idea. So I just don't know what to put inside the box. I was thinking maybe making some more shortbread and, and pluck them in here. But like, it would fit like maybe a couple biscuits, depending how big I make them. <laughs> I mean, or I could buy Turkish Delight and stick them in there. That's a thought. But, um, I was thinking maybe just a completely handmade gift thing this year, maybe. If I have no clue how to make Turkish delight, I'm not even going to try. But I did make shortbread recently, which I quite liked. found the, the, uh, the um, recipe on the BBC website, though so it had... When I tried it, before I rolled it out, it tasted a bit doughy, you know? Doughy, um floury. So I added more sugar and quite a few drops or pour of vanilla extract. So it actually tasted quite good afterwards. So uh, of course when I wrote that down on the recipe that I printed off, I just said add more sugar and add vanilla extract. No actual measurement. So hopefully it won't taste too different the next time I cook it. That wouldn't be good. I really do like my precise measurements for cooking. Because I don't really like winging it that much. When, though, like for some, I'm going off tangent, but though, like for some, uh, like for instance, some of the recipes I have, I wrote down like what, two shakes or something or other. But like for some things, I just, if I'm doing this over, I just do like a, a blanket one layer. Like one thin layer, because I can't bother to weigh, weigh it out. <laughs> I mean, it's just like, you know, oregano or something, but so it's not too bad. But anyway, that is such a tangent. I didn't actually expect this video to go on almost 25 minutes, so I shall bid you adieu. And I am looking forward to making some tags that um, have these on it. I'm not sure what else to do. It's actually a big tag, so I'm not sure what else I could put on the tag. Unless I stamp this, I fussy cut it, then I don't know, like emboss the tag, or ink up the tag, and emboss it, or put stuff on it, then put the sentiment over top? I don't know. Or I decorate the undersides. 
or make an attack that has a flappy bit. Who knows? I don't know, because I just thought of all this stuff. But yes. There's nothing else to say. And yes. That's it, I guess. I'm just rambling. So, thank you for watching. Over and out.